down there. Uh, Sandra Penkins, who's our head of art galleries, is going to be starting to talk to us. And then she's going to hand over to Mansell Root, who's one of our jurors. And um, he's going to be the one who will hand over that first prize, a cheque of £25,000 to our winner. Uh, it's amazing to think that thousands of artists have been handing over to and a thousand entries. And now we're down to those five shortest artists. And you can't imagine how they're going to be right now they are here which is great and uh, just to remind you of our short list that is Tala Akbashi, uh, Gabrielle Boyd, Benjamin <laughs> Jamie, Selma Parla and Michael Simpson who's making sure I've got those right for you. Um, so obviously we're here on Periscope broadcasting now um, and we'd love to have some of your comments as we go on send us some more parts as well if you like. Um, we won't be able to respond to those because obviously we'll be uh, live streaming uh, at Wellington, but we still want to have your reactions. And uh, also you can tweet us, uh, we're on uh, at jm 85 right? And our hashtag is jm 16 so um, keep talking to us and we'll try and respond to you on our other devices which we have going on here. Um, so that's all from me for now. If you have another uh, little break then I'll be able to come back to you, but hopefully we're going to be handing straight over to you. Um, I'm Sandra Penketh, Director of Art Galleries at National Museums Liverpool, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here this afternoon for the announcement of the prize winner of the John Moores Painting Prize 
2016. Um, can I say a very special welcome to all our exhibiting artists. Many congratulations on being uh, selected to exhibit in this year's show. Now, just to go through the, the order of play for this afternoon, um, there's going to be a short introduction, and then I'm going to ask Ansel Krut from the jury um, to say a few words on behalf of he and his colleagues, and then to announce the winner. And then after that, there will be the opportunity for questions and interviews and photographs, and there'll be more refreshments available. Okay. The John Moore's Painting Prize began in 1957. It was intended to support artists, both young and established, and to bring to Liverpool the best of contemporary painting from across the UK. With the support of the John Moore's Liverpool Exhibition Trust and National Museums Liverpool, the exhibition has continued to do just that every other year at the Walker since 1957 without interruption. This exhibition is now also part of the Liverpool Biennial Programme. As we approach the 60th anniversary and 30th show, it's interesting to reflect on the importance of this exhibition to painters. A look at our prize winners gallery, room 10 here at the Walker, gives you some idea of how the show has attracted both the established and newcomers to exhibit. It has both recognised achievement and given that all-important break to uh, painters early in their careers. It has, without doubt, provided inspiration to consecutive generations of art students. It wouldn't be possible to deliver this exhibition without the ongoing support of the Moores family and the John Moores Liverpool Exhibition Trust. We are extremely grateful to them for their generous collaboration. I would also like to thank our exhibition supporters this year. Waitman's, our hotel partner, the Richmond, and Rathbones, sponsor of the Visitor's Choice Award. This year, we had over 2,500 entries, and what you see in these galleries are the 54 painters, paintings selected by our judges. Artists Gillian Carnegie, Ansel Crude, Phoebe Unwin, and Ding Yi, and the author and freelance curator Richard Davy. The jury approached their tasks with great enthusiasm and diligence, and I believe have selected a broad ranging, representative, and powerful exhibition. I'd like to thank each of them for all their work. So, can I ask Ansel if he'd come and speak for the jury and announce the winner? Thank you. Uh, th thanks, Nicola. I had the very gratifying experience of hearing, overhearing somebody as I come in who just walked into the gallery saying, oh, it's beautiful. And that sort of, in a way, was a confirmation for us judges that we had, to some extent, got something right. And if you walk into the exhibition as it stands, you do get quite a powerful sense of the strength of the work, but also the great variety of the work. To pick up on something Nicola said, which is... Uh, how important the John Moore's competition is to artists. Not simply because it's a prize and therefore comes with money and the possibility of fame, although that's important too, but because it stands for something. It actually stands for a certain kind of painting, a painting that is not dogmatic, that's uh, discursive, that's open-ended, that's curious, that's informed, uh, and that's engaged very much with being in the world. Uh, and with that in mind, we couldn't have asked for more perfect examples than the five paintings which did turn out to be the prize winners today. Uh, and those paintings touch on an enormous range of concerns. Uh, and when the great reveal happened, because the painting was judged anonymously, we didn't know who the artists were, we were gratified to find as well that the paintings had different origins, different cultural affiliation, uh, and in a sense it just supported the, set, the, um, the conviction that we had and which we see expressed here of how much the John Moore's painting competition encompasses a good picture of what painting looks like today. So if I could announce uh, the prize winners, they are 
בהתחלה אגבשיאן, גבריאלה בויד, בנג'מין ג'יימי, סלמה פרלה ומייקל סימפסון. announce the prize winner. The main prize winner with a really astonishing painting is Michael Simpson. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm delighted and I'm uh, astonished and I'm honored as well to receive this, this award. Um, I'm only too aware of people who have won this painting prize in the past, um, especially uh, the painters from the late 50s and early 60s who I uh, admire very much. Um, there's something that I want to say about painting, generally, and that is that many people think of painting today as being, I'm talking about flat, flat surface painting, they think of it as sterile, um, and there is a, uh, there's a great popularity for uh, installation, um, uh, video work, photography, um, performance, and so on. Um, and much of it is, is really interesting and some even profound. But um, for me, painting is something that endures. And um, I have a great admiration for the nature of painting and for what it is, what it can do to people. The, the limitations of painting I find quite beautiful. The idea that you can make a painting within its own boundary lines, whether it's a rectangle, a square, a, a, an ellipse, a circle, um, or even a, 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 an Egyptian painting on the wall. It, it has a, a, a kind of beauty and um, it conjures up so many human values and um, is diverse in the most extraordinary degree. Uh, it, it's a kind of magic that, that, um, that you can do anything on this simple flat surface. And I think painting will endure for a very long time. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, many congratulations to Michael, uh, to all our prize winners, and of course to all our exhibitors. It is quite something to get into the exhibition out of over two and a half thousand entries. Um, so thank you so much for coming today. Um, please do, do speak to our prize winner and prize winners and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you.
joining us here at the Lord Art Gallery in Liverpool. Uh, big congratulations to Michael Simpson for winning our first prize of uh, £25,000. Um, we're really excited to have the event here. We're really glad that you could join us. And if you want to continue to let us know your reactions, uh, you can tweet us still at the JM Beauty Prize uh, using our hashtag uh, JM2016. Uh, so thanks again for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast. Thank you.